I'm trying something new, I'm gonna slow down my process and break it into four different parts. Today, we're gonna be designing some dragonflies. First, I draw out the left-hand side of them. Once I'm happy with my pencil lines for dragonfly wings, I marker them. And then I flip the page over, marker the other side. Open her up, and now I have four pairs of dragonfly wings. I'm just working in the body, and now they're ready to cut. In this part two, we're gonna be cutting out the dragonfly wings. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you number them because you do not want to mix up your pieces. I promise you that. Then you start by cutting your glass in the one direction. Make sure that your grain is going with your wing. And then once you cut the other pieces, you cut the other direction. Number them so you do not mix them up and flip the glass so that they nest in nicely. Then again, follow through cutting with all the cuts going the one direction. And then finish off your other pieces. It's nice when you can see through the glass. Then you wanna hit it like you want it to break. This is my favorite part. Breaking glass. I love breaking glass. And then I clean them up with the grousers. And now they're ready for the grinder. In this video, I'm gonna take you through grinding the dragonfly wings. Sorry about the grinder, it gets used and abused. So when you're grinding, you wanna keep an even pressure to make sure that the edge is nice and smooth. If you come across a bump, you kinda of rock it back and forth as I just did there. Since the pieces are cut together, they're gonna to fit pretty close, but I will check just to make sure that they still fit. Moving on to the other side of the wing. Again, creating that even pressure, smoothing out any little chips that are left on there. Check to make sure they fit. And now they're ready to foil. Part four, we're gonna be foiling the dragonfly wings. The goal when you're foiling is to get the foil in the center of the glass. The reason for this is so that you have a nice even bead of solder holding your project together at the end. I start about a couple millimeters in, and then as I make my way around, I overlap them so it's easy to tear. I just lightly crimp them. So I make my way around all of my pieces. You kind of want to shift your eyesight from either side as you make as you do it to make sure that it's in the middle. Once you've done your last piece, you break out your fid. Your fid is used to get out all of those last little bubbles and crimples and stuff in the foil because if you get any of the flux from the solder into it, your foil will lift off and your whole project will fall apart. So. Next time, decorative soldering. Today we're gonna to be soldering the dragonfly together. I start by tacking my pieces in place. Then I flux and tin around the edges. Then I'm gonna solder down the seam to hold my pieces together. And I flip and repeat. Then when I solder around the edges, I try to make it as thick and as round as possible because it's gonna strengthen and it'll get rid of any lumps and bumps. And once I'm happy with that, I pick an angle, line up my seams, fill it in with solder, flip it over, put in a dragonfly body I bent, tack it in place, and then I work in the solder ring. This is gonna make my dragonfly fly, and then I hide the seam of solder in the wing seam. Once I get to the dragonfly body, I'm thinking about the anatomy of a dragonfly with every drop of solder, making little eyes and little body, and then working my way down to the tail. I flip it over and repeat. In this video, and we're gonna be patining the dragonflies. These I have already scrubbed really, really well in the sink after soldering and dried them really, really well. And now that we're applying copper, we're uh, gonna make sure that we get in all the little nooks and crannies, flipping them every little direction. And ooh, look how pretty that copper patina is. So pretty, so pretty. Uh, with the black ones, um, it's magic right before your eyes. Like, look at that, 
total magic. Well, actually it's science, but yeah, it's magic. Same thing, but different. With the black, again, you wanna make sure that you're flipping them every which way, getting all the little nooks and crannies, and uh, flipping them, plopping them, getting them everywhere. Uh, with the black patina, I like to kind of uh, let them marinate. So I dry off the glass and I let them soak for a few more extra minutes before I bring them to sink and wash them. Finally, you'll get to see the dragonflies finished, I promise. <laughs> First, I rub uh, some polishing compound on a rag and then I rub it on the popper. I kind of let it sit and dry for a minute and then I take a dry spot of clay on the rag and I really, really scrub it. Scrub it and love it. That's my trick. Scrub it and love it. Um, lots and lots and lots of love. Look at all that love. <laughs> so shiny and so pretty. Ooh, uh, the black really doesn't require as much love. Uh, that might be why it's so popular. It also hides a lot of solder. Um, with these, I just love how the butterflies really pop with the copper. Oh, look at those little eyes. Aww. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, the glass bodies were made with a new grinder tip, so if you like it, leave some comments. I'll make a video. So thank you so much. Next time, we're gonna make a hummingbird. So thanks.